Here's some help from uh, Mr. Geeky, Beverly Grammar School for students in year 10, presently going into year 11, who are thinking about board game design. I've been out recently and bought about seven games, board game designs. This one uh, obviously aimed at five plus, a girls, probably girls game, I don't want to be sexist. Five plus, and um, you can see here the sort of cover decoration and the side decoration. And there's a barcode on the underside here, um, not on the side, actually on the underside. You can see there made in England, you can see the recycling sign just on the left hand side. This is the board when it's opened up, it actually folds in, into quarters. Um, each one of these discs turns round, it actually spins round. This is showing the board starting to fold up, it folds over here and here and then it folds into uh, one square. In this game there are four cards and there are two dice, the dice are particular dice, um, colours and numbers and there are some instructions here. So you need instructions for your game and you probably need dice. What you may call it, a strange game, there's no evidence of a barcode on the package. Um, this is a little detail of the cover. So it's a simple bifold board inside which you take out and this is what it looks like. Large squares with uh, graphic symbols on. Vacuum formed insert, which is going to be common to most games, uh, something we need to consider. And there's a rotating arrow which fits into something. I'm not quite sure about this. I, I think this fits over the vacuum formed insert. Um, you're going to have to play this game to try and find out some more details of it. So it's a strange one, that one. I'm not sure how to play that. I've just, like I say, picked it up this morning. The Great Game of Britain, another game. This um, is interesting. Fascinating train journey through the historic Britain, so it's educational. And you get a map, massive board in this one. You turn this board over, it's a massive board. And there are um, British Rail symbols here in different colours which stand up. Um, and you play the game by going around Britain or something. Here, I'm not sure about this one. Break safe, this was brand new when I bought it. Eight plus, two to four players. Um, the board's quite complicated. You've actually got a timer which needs three AA batteries. It says here, plays in 30 minutes or less every time, so that's the timer. In fact, there's the symbol on the side saying it needs three AA batteries. Made by Mattel. And um, this is what it looks like inside. Quite a complicated vacuum formed insert. You notice the finger grips at the side so you can get your hand, your finger around the cards or around the items to take out. Individual recesses for the different parts. It's something you're going to need to consider your board game design. And there's the board itself. Again, this one folded into four. I'm trying to show you how that works here. Um, I don't know if you can quite see that very clearly, but that's how it's supposed to fold up. Right, another game, Dingbats by Waddington's. Junior Dingbats. You can see the detail at the side. Two to four players. Ages nine to adult. And um, the copyright sign, I'm not sure whether that was on the side of this box or underneath. Oh, there it is, on the side. So, the barcode, sorry, the barcode sign on the side. So you're going to have to consider where to put the barcode. This board opens up, just simply, it's a bifold board which opens up. Lots of recesses and there's a timer, like a salt shaker timer. And um, obviously that's a feature of this particular game. Sudoku. Sudoku. Um... Right, well, complicated game here. You can see here you've got like a Sudoku board with all these little recesses for parts. Parts that are actually inside the box. Some rules then, some game cards at the top. And again, another timer. So um, you might have to play this one to figure out how, how it actually works. One or two players aged eight to adult. Payday, not quite sure. Well, it's obviously about being paid. Waddington game again. Um, very simple graphics on this game. Let's see, uh, two to six players, aged eight to adult, so it's a slightly older game. You need to perhaps play this yourselves. Uh, again, vacuum formed insert, holding game cards and some fake money. And um, the board here was quite big, quite a simple board, folded into four. Um, 
which is something that you should consider if you want a large board. So you can see here I'm folding this board into four and trying to put it back in the box for you. A bit blurry that picture, never mind. Um, and so here are the boxes all stacked on top of each other. You can see the variety in shapes and sizes and graphics. And um, I hope this gives you some ideas about uh, moving forward with your design of your game. Good luck to everybody at Beverly Grammar School and... Uh